Hey guys, today I just want to talk about the Predator engines from Harbor Freight and what my thoughts are on them after using them for about 40 hours. This is a John Deere 5 horsepower um, log splitter with, I believe, I believe it's a 20 ton. It's an older unit from the 70s and it had the original engine on it. Last year I was using it and it randomly wouldn't start. It was running kind of rough. It almost seemed like the shear pin had um, not the shear pin, the, the keyway had shifted or something. It was running like it was mistimed. There's something wrong with it. So I parked it for the winter time and I decided I'll look at it in the spring because I already had enough firewood for the year. So I took it apart and looked at it and it was just it had very low compression on the engine and it was an old engine that was 30 years old, let's say. So I didn't want to I didn't want to take it apart and fix it. I didn't want to get a rebuild kit for it or anything like that and I was just looking for a quick fix. So I picked up one of these Predator engines, it's a six and a half horsepower, 212 cc, and it used the same size shaft. Um, and this thing works great. I want to say it was $99 and then we had a coupon. I think we got it for like $84 with tax and everything uh, picked up. And I mounted the engine, it had the same mounts as before, but the holes here were a little bit uh, closer together, so I had to, to drill new holes. There wasn't enough play on there. As you can see, this is the engine. So I mounted it up, and uh, it's been running great so far. And like I, I said, I put about 40 hours on it. Uh, changed the oil already, and um, you know, for 80, 84 dollars or whatever this thing was, this, this is a great little engine. So um, I'll report back to you in, um, you know, if it dies or next year, if it's still going, and I'll let you know. This is actually my friend's log splitter. Great little unit here. And like I said, it, it was running great, and then it just wouldn't start anymore. It was coughing and wasn't running right, so. And uh, I'm going to change the hydraulic fluid on here. One thing I noticed is this reservoir is really small. It looks like a gallon gallon reservoir, and then I don't know how much is in the hoses and the in the the unit there, but I would suggest putting a bigger tank on there if it was mine. Um, so yeah, just like I said, here's the Predator wrench from Harbor Freight, and I'm gonna let you know how it turns out. And then I just basically. I'm not flushing the system, I'm just draining the system as best as I can. So I've got the tank pretty much emptied out like this. It's draining down the hose there and it's going to the lowest point of the system which is the, the line I have taken off down here. I moved the camera right now but my hands are all greasy so. I'm just draining the last bits out. Like I said, I'm not flushing the system. Just draining the system and putting new fluid in. That's pretty good. Alright, we're going to want to grab a funnel. Oh, we got a nice clean funnel here. We got the oil that this unit calls for. We're gonna fill her back up.
over by hand a couple times. All right. Check the oil in this engine. Changing the fluid on this bad boy. Starts right up, nice and good. Check out our oil level, see if it sucked down any at all. This is going to fluctuate once it fills up the hoses that are this top hose here, so it's going to probably burp some air out of the system as well. So we'll top that up. It looks like we're good to go, and I'll just keep an eye on that. So there's not much to this here. I'm not any certified mechanic or anything. I doubt I'm going to wreck anything either. Take that, bring that one up. Good, good to go. I'm going to go put this bad boy to use. Let's put some wood at my buddy's house.